Praise to the Lord. Thank Hallelujah. How's it? Mm. Hallelujah. Reke teke basi kere. Mosoto si kere. Raba rakire sikrani parosudu. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you for your presence. Thank oh, Lord God Almighty. Mm. We are in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord God. I thank you for your presence. I thank you for the worship. I thank you for the words Amen. this morning, my Lord. Mm. Lord, I just thank you. Lord, this is what we desire, to be in the house of the Lord. Yes, Lord. All the days of our lives. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, I just thank you. I just thank you. I just thank you. Just thank you. Lord, I just thank you, Lord. I thank you for your presence. I thank you. I thank you, Lord, for your presence. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, just... Fill us more, fill us mm -hmm. more with the with the with the knowledge and understanding yes, Lord. of our Lord Jesus <coughs> Christ. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Fill us more. Give us a revelation. Give us understanding. Uh, yes, Lord. Give us wisdom. We pray, hallelujah, as your as your children. We come humbly before the Lord God Almighty, King of Glory, mm -hmm. the, the creator of the heavens and the yes, earth, Lord. knowing that we are created. And you are the Amen. uncreated. Amen. Hallelujah. We come to you, the one who is above all things, who is before all things. Hallelujah. God Almighty, King of glory. Yes. We, we honor you. We bless your name. We yes. praise you. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. We thank you for this morning. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Welcome, everybody. The Amen. Kingdom of Heaven uh, Ministries International. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. Amen. God is good. It is good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you. The Bible says, The heavens and the earth will pass away, but my word will stand forever. Yes. The Amen. grass with us, the flower fades, but the word of the Lord Amen. stands forever. Hallelujah. Amen. I, I love the word of God. Yes. Yes. Amen. I love the word yes. of God. I, I love especially Psalm 119. Mm. When I when I need encouragement, I always go to Psalm 119. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Especially this word, uh, Psalm 119. Uh, I'll try to look for it. Um, if you turn to Psalm 119, uh, I think around 40 something. Hallelujah. It says, "Remember, O Lord, your word unto your servant, upon which you have caused me to hope." It's 49. 49. Hallelujah. Psalm. 119 verse 49. Hallelujah. Praise Thank the you. Lord. Amen. Remember the word to your servant upon which you have caused me to hope. Amen. It is my comfort in my affliction, for your word has given me life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Lord. Hallelujah. Thank that you. that alone lifts my spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 And, and, and as you read these scriptures, this scriptures, Psalm 119, in so many places, it talks about the hope, having hope in the word of God. Yes, Hallelujah. amen. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Praise Lord. the Lord. Oh, my God. 75. Because I have hope in your word, I know, O oh Lord, that your judgments are right, and that in faithfulness you have afflicted me. Hallelujah. Amen. 81. My soul faints for your salvation, but I hope in your Amen. word. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Again, 49. Remember the word to your servant upon which you have caused me to hope. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. We need to hope in the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just love the Lord because when you have nobody, when you have nothing with you, when you have no help, when you have no finances, when you have your health deteriorating, you have, you have only one hope. Yes, the word of amen. God. Amen. In the Word of God. Amen. In the Word of God. Hallelujah. So therefore, do not trust in anything else. Do not trust in your lawyers. Do not trust in your uh, bankers. You know, you not trust uh, in, in your finances, in your job. No. No, not in anything. Right. No, no materialistic things can defend you or save you. Amen. Right. Trust in the word of God. Hallelujah. The Bible says, trust in the Lord. Amen. Trust the Lord with all your heart. Do not rely on your own understanding. 
Do not rely on to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your path. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says in uh, in Psalm, "Who is a rock but the Lord?" Yes. Yes. Amen. Who is yes. a rock but the Lord? Hallelujah. The yes. Lord is our rock. You can stand firm on this rock of our salvation. You, Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. That is a rock. Uh, that, that is a place by my side. Yes. The Lord said to Moses when he wanted to see the glory. Mm. That is a place by my side. Okay. Stand in the cleft of the rock. rock. Mm. So God was saying to Moses, you cannot see my glory unless you are in Christ. Amen. 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 Unless you are in Christ, there is a place by my side. Amen. Amen. Okay? Mm. Stand in the cleft of the rock. Amen. And the psalm says, Who is the rock except the Lord? Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. There is a continuity in, in the scriptures. That, that's why you need to read all the scriptures, all the whole Bible, not just the Old Testament. And, uh, and some of them just read the New Testament. You need to read the Old Testament in order to understand the New Testament. Yes. Amen. Amen. Because the Old Testament uh, is uh, an historical event. At the same time, right now for us is a spiritual guide. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. We need to understand that. Mm. When we read the Old Testament right now, we need to understand these are all spiritual truths. Yes. Which Amen which are applicable right now for our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You see, back in the day, about 12 years ago, after I had completed my degree, I was wondering what, where, what, what happens now? What do I do? And I was praying. God gave me two scriptures. Very, very powerfully gave me two scriptures. And I knew these two scriptures going to be the the foundation of my ministry when yes. God calls me. Amen. That reminds me, okay, I hold it and post it there and I tell you exactly when God called me. Because he called me I believe he called me when I was very young. But he uh, I heard the voice of the Lord calling my name Amen. once. And I didn't know why he did that then. Mm. I was twenty seven I believe. I was twenty seven. I was working for Singapore Airlines. Uh, I was working night shift, you know, some, uh, I think it was uh, AOG, they call it aircraft on ground, so we had to work uh, to make sure the aircraft is available for the next day. Mm -hmm. So I was waiting for spares under the tail of the aircraft, about 2 o'clock in the morning. And uh, I had my toe tuck and I was waiting there and I fell asleep. About 2 o'clock in the morning, it was dark in the airport, tarmac, and I, and I was awakened by this voice calling me Prabha. Mm -hmm. I looked around. I thought the spares uh, had arrived. Therefore, my colleagues were calling me. Right. But I turned around. Nobody was there. I was just on my own. Mm -hmm. and that's it. That was it. And uh, I was contemplating for a while. Who could it be? I, I, I convinced myself it was God. Mm -hmm. And 2016, after my degree, I was praying and asking God for guidance yes. and God gave me these two scriptures. One was Acts 1.8. Acts 1.8, everybody knows this scripture. Mm -hmm. You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. You will be my witnesses yes. to Amen. Judea, to Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Amen. So that promise, that word God gave to me. Okay? Amen. You, you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and yes. you shall be my witness. Yes. Uh, in the scripture, yes. witnesses. To me, to in me. Jerusalem, yeah, and Jerusalem. in all Judea, and Samaria, and mm. to the end of the earth. Amen. Amen. So, Amen. God called me Thank again you, in 2006. And then He gave me another scripture. Uh, this is based, this is the basis of my ministry which is Isaiah 61 because he spoke to me powerfully few days he gave me the same scriptures Isaiah 61 hallelujah praise the Lord Thank everybody you. knows this scripture 
The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Mm -hmm. He has anointed me yes. to, to preach. preach the good tidings. The if you have the poor, cancel it off. Write the meek or humble. That's the true translation, not poor. Right. Cross it off and write meek or humble because the actual translation is not poor because you cannot preach the uh, the poor people are not or not all the poor, poor people are humble. Yeah, that's okay? right. Yeah, that's he right. wants us to preach the good news to the humble or the meek. A rich people, a person can be humble. Yes. Okay. Yes. The Bible says, "Humble yourself before the Lord, and He will exalt you." Yes. Amen. That's right. That's right. Okay. So the actual translation is, "You preach the good news or good tidings." to the humble because a prideful person will not accept the word of God because he thinks that he has more wisdom than God but the Bible says the wisdom of man is foolishness to God because he will catch them in their own craftiness Amen Amen. So you cannot preach the gospel to the prideful That's right. You can only preach the good news to the humble or the meek uh, and again, you cannot preach the gospel to the poor because the poor will be looking at your hand, not at your message. That's right. Yes. That's right. Amen. Yes, that's, that's right. right. Amen. I'm generalizing. Amen. I know I'm gen generalizing. Yes. So those who have humbled themselves, they will receive the word of God. That's so, right. So the, he yes. gave me this scripture, to, these two scriptures. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has, because the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, has Amen. anointed me to preach the good tidings to the meek. Amen. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, Amen. to proclaim liberty to the captives, Amen. Amen. and the opening of the prison to those who are bound, Amen. to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and Amen. the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to console those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Amen. That they may that they may be called the priests of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. glorified. Hallelujah. So the ministry that God has given us, yes. right? To heal the brokenhearted, to preach the good news to the Amen. humble. Amen. To open the prison doors, to set the captivity free, and also to to give the recovery of sight to the blind. Yes. That's right. Yes. So that people will know the Lord and His name. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the ultimate goal. His name will be glorified. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Yes. And He also, <coughs> as I said, He gave me Acts 1.8. You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon Amen. you. Amen. So, Amen. in order to do this ministry, we need the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will empower us. That's right. Amen. 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 The Holy Spirit will empower us. Without the Holy Spirit, we can do nothing. Amen. Right. Not by might, not by power, power, power. but by my spirit. My spirit. Amen. 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 Says the Lord. Mm. Without the Holy Spirit, we cannot do our ministry. Amen. God has called us to do this ministry with the Holy Spirit so that the whole world will know that there is God in heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. As Cynthia prayed earlier, we need to pray for this town, for the world, where the wrong is being called right That's and true. right yes. is called, being called wrong. Sweet is called bitter and bitter is called sweet. My Jesus. Amen. Mm. So the world is going the wrong way. But the Lord is raising up His servants, His children. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He, he has put His Holy Spirit in us so that we can rise up and be a voice to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the, Lord. The, 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 the issue in the church or in the body of Christ is lack of understanding. Yes. The Bible says, my people perish because they lack knowledge yes. amen Hosea 4 6 so therefore we need to get into the scriptures mm. to understand what the Bible is actually saying right. and this year I believe is the is the year of dreams and revelation amen because yes. I'm getting amen. I'm getting a lot of Hallelujah. dreams amen. Mm. amen I'm getting supernatural dreams mm. God is taking me here there and everywhere yes. in my dreams uh, to I, I started recording it to an extent that 
I'm getting too many dreams to record. You, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting like a, a three days, four days, and then write the whole thing. God is giving the revelation. And as well as we take the scriptures and meditate on the scriptures, God is giving the revelation. Amen. 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 Yes. There, uh, some time back, probably four or five months ago, I was, Cynthia and I were called for a conference. Yes. So we were there, and uh, I was asked to do some prayers. And I, as I was meditating, uh, God took me to Psalm 23 and He gave me a revelation of Psalm 23. That's, That's what I'm going to share today. Okay? Amen. Amen. Psalm 23 is basically, should have, uh, uh, God, uh, whoever wrote the Bible, uh, the new, uh, uh, compiled the Bible, should have named it the Psalm of a New Christian. Probably. Yeah. A new believer. A new believer. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's, it is a psalm describing and prophesying what will happen to a new believer. What should happen to a new believer. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Praise Amen. the Lord. We all understand, as I said earlier, the Old Testament is a spiritual truth for us in this new covenant. Amen. New, new Testament Christian. All right? yes. Yes. We need to take everything spiritually of the Old Testament. And there are many layers. As you read the scriptures, Old Testament... There are many different layers of spiritual truth. Yes. Amen. That's you need right. to meditate to derive, to extract the truth. That's Hallelujah. Right. That's right. So, in the Old Testament, Moses sent, um, God sent Moses to Egypt to redeem the oppressed. Yes. To redeem people from the bondage in Egypt. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. So, they were struggling. They were in bondage. They were born into bondage. They were there for 130 years. Yes. Amen. Yes. God brought them out, okay, with signs and wonders and miracles, and through the the uh, Red Sea, got baptized under the sea, and then into the wilderness. Yes. Amen. Yes. In the wilderness, the main aim for God to bring them into the wilderness to empty themselves of the past. That's, That's right. right. Amen. Amen. To empty themselves from the past and then to cleanse them. To drink from the water which came from through the rock from yes, Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Yes, amen. The living water. Hallelujah. But they were carnal in their nature. That's right. They were carnal yes. in their nature. So therefore, they couldn't accept mm. the new way of life. Yes. So therefore, God had to remove them. Everybody uh, above the age of 20, yes. they died before they went into the promised land. Right. So the purpose of the Lord was to renew their hearts and minds. Amen. To Amen. bring them into a new life in Christ. Yes. New into, thinking, yeah. into the promised land. That's yes. right. Before Amen. you renew your mind, you cannot be taken into the promised land. That's, That's right. right. Yes. Amen. So Amen. That, was, that was what God was trying to do with them. But they were stiff-necked, the Bible says. Mm. Right. They were stiff-necked. They murmured and complained that God had to destroy them because they mm. God didn't want to bring anyone with that kind of mindset attitude into the promised land that's right that's yes. right amen the Bible says uh, 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 what's the what's the the lump you know the a yeast little, yeah a little leaven leaven no. the little uh, the, the small leaven leavens a whole lump yeah. Amen. Yes. He doesn't want the small group of people to contaminate the thinking of yeah. uh, those people yes. who have whose minds have been renewed. Amen. Yes, right. Hallelujah. Amen. So with that on mind, let's turn to Psalm 23. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise I think I think I need to break this up to several uh, uh, sermons because yes. the, uh, the introduction took some time. But anyway, it's all good. Amen. 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 Yes. Hallelujah. God gives revelation not for us to keep. The revelation for us to share so that Christians will be set free. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Reke bara sikrade. Everybody knows Psalm 23. That's yes. right. And uh, this is a psalm which is favored for many people. Yes. Let's read. Let's, let's read the whole psalm and then I'll break it down. Amen. Okay. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. 
He leads me in the path of righteousness for His name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Amen. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. This psalm is basically, is once you have been redeemed from the power of darkness and conveyed into the kingdom of son of his love. Yes. Amen. You start a process of cleansing. Yes. You start a process of trusting in the Lord. Mm. Amen. Mm. So when you have declared that Jesus Christ is your Lord, He becomes your shepherd. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. A shepherd is responsible for his flock, for his sheep. That's right. A shepherd will not, a true shepherd, the Bible says, Jesus said, will lay down his life for his mm. sheep. Right. When you commit your life into the hands of our Lord Jesus, mm. He becomes your shepherd, He guards you. Amen. Amen. Right. Let's turn to Isaiah 40, verse 11. Hallelujah. Isaiah 40, verse 11. Let's see what a shepherd does. If you are there, say Amen. 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 Isaiah 40 verse 11. Amen. 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 He will feed his flock like a shepherd. Amen. Yes. He will gather the lambs with his arms. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And carry them in his bosom. Amen. And gently lead those who are with young. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the job of a shepherd. That's Amen. what Jesus does. Amen. He he will feed his flock. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Why? Amen. He feeds me. Amen. He provides all my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He is my shield, he is my buckler. He Amen. is my stronghold, he is my strong tower. Amen. 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 A shepherd is your guardian, your Amen. protector, your yes. provider, your yes. defender. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And he also carries you in his bosom. He he loves you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Amen. He comforts you. Amen. Amen. Right. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. That's great. Thank you, he will feed his flock like a shepherd. Mm. He will gather the lambs with his arms and carry them in his bosom and gently lead those who are with young. Amen. That's yes. that's what Jesus does. Amen. 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 So once you are out, now what he does? Once you proclaim that He is your Lord and Savior, He, he becomes responsible for you. That's right. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. But you have to sincerely confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that yes. Jesus Christ that's is the right. Lord. He, he died and rose on the third day. Yes, yes, that's right. When you do that, you become His sheep, His Amen. flock. Amen. Hallelujah. And He also said, He neither leaves you nor forsakes you. He will be with you as He, as he was with Moses. Yes. yes. Nobody will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. Amen. Praise, Amen. The Praise the Lord. And then what he does? He makes me lie down in green pastures. Hallelujah. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. Amen. He restores my soul. So what he does first, he cleanses. Amen. Just like in the wilderness, he had to take them out of Egypt Baptize them under water Amen. and then into the wilderness where he can restore them. He can cleanse them of the way of the past, mm. of the mindset of bondage, mm. mindset of servant. Yes. To bring them into a mindset of kings and priests and, 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 and uh, uh, what, what, uh, sonhood, what's the term? And, and, and being the son of and daughters of God. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. To, 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 to remove the attitude or mentality of servant into princes. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. So he needs to restore our souls. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So he leads us beside the still waters and he restores 
my soul. Let's turn to Isaiah 40, verse 31. Hallelujah. But those who wait on the Lord Amen. shall renew their strength. Amen. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. Amen. They shall run and not be weary. Amen. They shall walk and not faint. Amen. Amen. Those who wait upon the Lord. So what he does is he brings you to lie down on green pastures. Amen. Leads you beside the still waters. Why? He wants you to rest in him. Amen. Wait upon him. Amen. Rest and wait. And those who wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall renew, they shall renew, they their, shall renew strength. their strength. Amen. Amen. That is what a lot of Christians are not doing. Mm. Once they know Jesus, they think they are saved, mm. and that they go back doing their own things. Wow. No, they shall wait upon the Lord, to renew so their so that their souls, their hearts, their minds will be renewed and restored. Yes. Amen. Wait yes. upon the Lord. Mm. Those who wait upon the Lord. Shall renew, their shall renew their strength hallelujah because you you have been subjected to bondage oppression suppression yes and hence comes depression That's right. so you need your soul need to be restored hallelujah. amen so how you restore your soul by waiting upon the lord amen, amen. by waiting upon the lord in in your in your quiet place in your in your uh in your closet, closet. Yeah. amen, amen. The Lord will take you, anoint you, mm. restores your soul, yes. takes you to this quiet place. Thank you, Lord. He will renew your strength. Amen. Amen. You will, he will before the Lord can use you, you need to be restored. Your mind has to be changed, yeah. transformed. Yeah. Amen. 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 So that, that, that's why this is very important. Amen. Amen. I'm stressing this. I know I'm stressing this because you need to understand before the Lord can use you. Yes. You need to be restored. Hallelujah. Why? For his name's sake. He doesn't want anybody to represent him where you are powerless, mm. where you are weak. Yes. Amen. 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 Because if you read, let, let's go back to Psalm 23. Because it's all because of him. All because of whom? Jesus. Him. Amen. Because he says, He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for whose name's sake? For his name's sake. Name sake. Because he wants us to become his ambassadors. That's right. To represent him. That's right. For us to represent him, we need to be restored. We need to be transformed. We need to be like Jesus. Yes. Amen. We need to take everything of old from ourselves. We need to be transformed because we are we've been born again, not by corruptible but incorruptible seed through the word of God which lives and abides forever. Amen. Amen. It is no longer me who lives, but Christ in me. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. We have to empty ourselves from ourselves. Yes. Amen. Of ourselves. Amen. 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 And put Amen. Christ on daily basis. Put on Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Because we he wants us to represent him. He wants us to walk like him, talk like him, not just Talk the talk, but walk the walk. Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. That's, right. That's why in, 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 in the garden when, when the Romans came to arrest Jesus, they needed Judas Iscariot to identify Jesus. Why? Everybody became and looked like Jesus. That's right. Everybody had beard. Everybody talked like Jesus. Everybody walked like Jesus. Everybody dressed like Jesus. Yes. And... The Roman soldiers couldn't identify Jesus, though he was preaching in the open. That's right. Yes. Though the priests saw him, heard him speak. That's right. And they needed somebody to go and identify Jesus because they became like Jesus. Mm -hmm. Only then Jesus sent them out. Amen. That's Amen. Right. Amen. So he wants to restore our soul, take all the hurt, all the pain, all the things of the past. Mm -hmm. You are forgiven, so you shall forgive others. Amen. 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 Forgive others. Let go. Let the past go. Just, just, just like Moses said, let my people go. Yes. Yes. Amen. So you Amen. let your past go. Amen. Because you've been redeemed from the power of darkness and conveyed to the kingdom of son of his love. love. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. 
Praise the Lord. I'm going back and forth. Please bear with me. Hallelujah. I'm going back and forth Psalm 23 because Psalm 23 is a great psalm. It's yes. for new believers. It's for Christians. Hallelujah. Yes. Because what the Lord does after the, after the Lord has restored you, He takes you to the battle. Right. He takes you through a battle in this world because we are in a battlefield. Many of us do not know. Many of our eyes, many of the eyes of the Christians are not open because if, we, if your eyes are open, you will be scared. Therefore, your soul needs to be restored. Your mind needs to be transformed to know what's happening in the spirit realm. You read that in Isaiah, sorry, Psalm 58, Psalm 59. You read that. Yes. That's right. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. So, once your soul is prepared, once your mind is restored, transformed, mm. He takes you to the battlefield. Mm. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, yes. I Amen. will not fear evil. Amen. 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 For you are with me. Once your eyes is opened, you will see the Lord is with you. Amen. He takes you through a battle to destroy the enemy. Why? The Bible said, that the seed of the woman will crush the head of the, of the serpent. That's so the right. Lord God will destroy the enemy through us. That's Amen. right. Amen. Amen. We have to crush the head of the serpent. Amen. 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 So therefore our mind needs to be renewed. Mm. Our soul needs to be restored. Amen. Mm. Yes. Wait upon the Lord. Yes. And your strength will be renewed. Amen. 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 Do, you, do you get it? Do you, do you follow? Amen. Hallelujah. Right. This is the revelation Thank that God has given me. Thank you. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For Amen. you are with me. Amen. If God is with you, who can be against you? That's right. This is the knowledge and the truth that we need to know. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If the creator of the heavens and the earth mm. <laughs> is yes, with you is. Yes, and in you, yes. greater is he who is in us than the one who is in the world. That's right. Will you fear evil? A thousand may fall on your side and thousand, ten thousand may fall on your right side. Right. None of this will, shall come near you. Amen. That's right. Because Amen. I have put my Lord, my God, Thank you, Lord. Right. Thank first you. in my life. Hallelujah. Mm. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Yes. Amen. Let's turn to Psalm 18, verse 36. Hallelujah. Rebecca, bear with me. I'm going back and forth, I know. But this is Revelation. This is Revelation, Psalm 18, verse 36. You enlarged my path under me, so my feet did not slip. Mm -hmm. I have pursued my enemies and yeah. overtaken them. Mm -hmm. Neither did I turn back again till they were destroyed. Amen. I have wounded them mm -hmm. so that they could not rise. Amen. They have fallen under my feet. Mm -hmm. For you have armed me with strength for the battle. Hallelujah. You have subdued under me those who rose up against me. Amen. You have also given me the necks of my enemies. Amen. So that I destroyed those who mm -hmm. hated me. Amen. They cried out, mm -hmm. but there was none to save. Mm -hmm. Even to the Lord, but mm -hmm. they did not answer him. Mm -hmm. Answer them. Then I beat them as fine as the dust Amen. before the wind. Mm. I cast them out like the dirt in the mm. street. Mm. You have delivered me from the strivings of the people. Hallelujah. You have made me the head of the nations. Mm. A people I have not known shall serve me. Hallelujah. As soon as they hear of me, they obey me. Hallelujah. The foreigners submit to me. The foreigners fade away and mm. come frightened from their hideouts. Mm. The Lord lives. Blessed be my rock. Let the God of my salvation be exalted. Amen. Amen. So what he does? Amen. He trains you. Yep. He Amen. trains you for battle. Yes. Amen. He arms Amen. your hands to fight battles. Hallelujah. Yeah. He teaches my hands to make war. Amen. So that my arms can bend a bow of bronze. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. There you go. He teaches you in the, in the still places, in the quiet places. When he restores your soul, he teaches you. Amen. Amen. He, he arms your hand to bend a bow of bronze. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the, Lord. the Lord. So, so we, we quote the scriptures. Those who wait upon the Lord shall, shall renew, renew their strength. strength. Amen. Amen. But how many of us wait for the Lord? How many actually wait for the Lord? Right. David said, I wait for I, I wait upon the Lord. More than a watchman waits uh, during his night watches. That's right. Mm. 
Yes. So it's not five minutes, it's not ten minutes, it's like overnight yes, waiting right. upon the Lord. When you wait upon the Lord, when you show that you are sincerely waiting upon the Lord, the Lord will come, restores you, renew your strength, and then you will be armed for battle. Amen. And everything that we read in Psalm 18, He prepares your arms for battle. He teaches you, He widens the path beneath you so Amen. that you can fight the battle and win Amen. until you beat the enemies like the dust in the street. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Let's go to 23. Amen. Hallelujah. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. What he's saying is, what he's saying here, the Lord, what he's saying, okay, did, did you have your breakfast this morning? Yes. Did you have your breakfast this morning? I had breakfast this morning. Yes. Okay. Mm. While you are having breakfast, the battle is going on. That's right. That's right. Oh, yes. While you are having your breakfast, the battle is going on. Why? The Lord is fighting your battles for you. Amen. That's right. Amen. The Amen. Lord is fighting your battles for you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. While you are at work, while you are sleeping, mm. the Lord is fighting your battles for you. That's Amen. right. Why? He has charged your angels to keep you in all your ways. Amen. Hallelujah. The angel hearkens to the voice of the word of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. So the, once you are in the Lord, hallelujah, you go into the secret place. Yes. That, that is, a, that is a, a, a secret meeting between you and the Lord. Yes. That's right. The Lord, you will strategize along with the Lord to fight your battles. Amen. And then the Lord will take care of these angels. Amen. That's right. You do your intercession, yes. Amen. You, you do your intercession. But the angels will not go to sleep. That's, That's right. right. They fight That's battles right. with the Lord, with yourself. Mm. Even though I'm standing here, I'm still fighting my battles. That's Amen. right. Mm. As He is, so am I on earth. As He is in heaven, mm. so am I on earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When, when we praise the Lord this morning, we were actually in heaven before the Lord. Yes. That's right. Yes. Amen. Yes. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise Hallelujah. Lord. I think I'm going to stop here. We'll, we shall continue this. We, we shall continue this. There's a lot more to unpack in Psalm 23. I yes. want you to meditate on Psalm 23 and all the other scriptures that I've given and put it into practice. Amen. That's right. Put Amen. it into practice because the Lord wants to restore you before He takes you into battle. Because Amen. the battle, the enemy is strong, but it's not stronger than the Lord. That's so right. you have to be with the Lord to fight the battle. Yes. That's right. Amen. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let's, let's thank pray. You. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for this revelation. We thank you that you are with us. We thank you, O oh Lord, when we allow you to, to restore us, you will restore our souls for your name's sake. Oh Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. At the end of this psalm, it says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Yes, Amen. Lord. Thank you for the victory that, that you have already given us, O oh Lord. Thank you. Thank you that you are with us. Lord, even as we go back to our own homes of Father God, I pray for your angels to follow us, for, for your spirit to encourage us, to strengthen us, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. So that we can do your will. We can be victorious. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. And help us to be cognizant with everything which is happening around us. Not to uh, ignore the changes which are happening around us very quickly, O oh Lord. Help us to pray for the nation. Pray for the leaders. Lord, pray for our family members. Pray for the youth, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Help, help us, remind us, Lord. Prompt us to do this as often as possible in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Amen.